Hello, I am Alvaro Rodrigo, the creator of FullPage.js and I want to show you in this video how you can create a full screen slider using Webflow Editor together with FullPage. In case you don't know about FullPage, FullPage.js is a JavaScript library that you can use in order to create a full screen slider like the one you are seeing on the screen. You can also create horizontal slides and the good thing about it is that it's uh, totally configurable and it has plenty of options. You can check also plenty of examples on its website and even uh, different extensions that you can use in order to create uh, even a more stunning effect. All right, so let's go with it. Well, full disclosure first. Um, in order to make use of any kind of uh, external library in Webflow, you'll be uh, needing to use um, paid plan. So unless you pay to use Webflow, you are not gonna be able to use what they call a uh, custom code. So the custom code is this option that allows you to create um, well, to add code in the head or the body of the website. So, um, well, I'll, I'll provide you guys with a link to paid plans on the description of this video as well as on the very video itself. Uh, those links will provide you with a small commission. So I would really appreciate if you guys uh, get the, the paid plans from, from there if you are not already paying for one. All right, so uh, let's go with it. First of all, I uh, want to explain to you guys that we are gonna be creating this structure. Basically, it's just a wrapper, and inside the wrapper, we have different sections. So, first of all, we would be adding a div block. We are gonna call it full page. This is the ID for the wrapper. And we are gonna set the height to 100 VH. Inside of it, we are gonna add our first section, another div block. We are gonna add the class section. We are gonna, um, change the width to 100% and the height to 100%. This is something that usually full page does behind the curtains, but uh, because we want to edit the website in this editor, we need to see the result before even full page get applied. So um, that's why we're doing it. Otherwise, full page would be doing it for us. We also want to um, center horizontally and vertically the text inside the section. And uh, we are going to add the text just to make sure of it. Yeah, we're going to call it section one. So this is what we have right now. We have uh, the wrapper and a section with a text inside. We are going to click on the section and we're going to copy it with Command C in Mac or Control C in Windows. We're going to click on the wrapper and we're going to paste it with Command V or Control V in Windows. We are going to do it a couple of times so we can have three different sections. If I scroll down now, I'll see two more sections that are identical to the one that I created first. So let's add a bit uh, of color here. Um, I'm clicking on the first section and I'm gonna add the class section one. And I'm gonna change the background to something like this, something red. Yeah, clicking on section two, changing the text. Section two, clicking on the div. And now uh, adding the class section two and changing the color to something like uh, something blue. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Now scrolling down, section three, changing the text, adding a class, section three, and changing the background to something like, I don't know, yellow. Yeah, looking good. All right, so we have now three sections. We need, we, this is all we need in order to, to, to make full page. Um, work in our website. Now the only thing we have to do is add the script. So we're going to be adding it as any other script. We're going to be adding the CSS files of full page in the head of the website, which is only one file, and then we're going to be adding the um, the script JavaScript uh, script on the body tag, as well as the JavaScript uh, initialization. All right. So um, well, I'm going to copy and paste them. Uh, you can get, uh, if you go to the documentation, which you can find on Google very easily, you will be able to find some uh, CDNs, like this one here, and then you can copy and paste from there directly um, the, the files. Otherwise, you can use your own server or, you know, um, well, basically that. So um, I'm going to copy it and paste it so I can save you guys a bit of time. I'm getting the file from Unpack, which I like it a lot because it's a way to get any file from any uh, NPM project. That's the CSS, and then I'm getting here 
the JavaScript file. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to provide you guys with this uh, well this code on the Java, on the description of the video. Although I'm not very sure if YouTube will allow me. All right, so here we are gonna be calling full page. New full page, and then we add our wrapper, and then here we add the different options. So we could be adding, for example, scrolling. Oh, well, let me, yeah, better like this. Scrolling speed, 1000 milliseconds. Um, so this is the ID of our wrapper, and this is where we would be adding uh, the different uh, full page options. All right, so let's click on save. And let's see how the website looks. We publish it. And there we go. There we go. Section 1, Section 2, and Section 3. You might be wondering why the text is not centered. Well, that's a small issue uh, when dealing with Flexbox. So what we're going to be doing here is disabling, disabling uh, the full page centering. Usually full page does it for us, but here we don't need because we're using Flexbox. So let's do um, vertical centered false. That's it. We click on save, we publish it, and we reload the website. That's it. Looking good, right? Something that we might want to do as well is uh, disabling full page in uh, smaller screens. So when we um, resize our browser window or we access from a mobile phone or a desktop which has a smaller screen, uh, we might want to disable the auto scrolling so it won't be moving automatically to the next session but just giving uh, you um, total freedom to scroll as you want and uh, so the, the way to do that is just quite easy you can read more about it on the full page documentation but basically we're going to add an option called responsive width so uh, this way whenever the viewport is less than 1000 pixels uh, the auto scrolling is going to be turned off and we are going to be able to scroll uh, freely. Uh, there are other uh, responsive uh, options that you can read about on the on the full page documentation, but I'm not going to get into detail in here. This is just a quick example of how to use them. All right, so we click on publish and then we go to our website. That's auto scrolling and if we reset the browser to less than 1000 pixels width, then we can see the scroll bar now on the right side here and then we can see how we can freely scroll up and down we could even do things like allowing the sections to be higher uh, than bigger than the the height of uh, our uh, device or the viewport and uh, or even turn uh, horizontal slides into vertical ones but you can get into more details about it on the documentation so that's all for today i think you guys enjoyed if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me and uh, well, enjoy it.